Hey, Flambe, ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannons. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sick us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. Those double-crossing thieves. That's piracy. Well, I'm not sure what else you were expecting under the circumstances. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull! All they need is a skull, and they'll be heading for Monkey Island. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. Now's not a good time to attract attention. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, toasty. Toasty. That's an unusual sound for a ship to make. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. Looks like it's empty. You, Swabby, come over here. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? I like what you've done with the place. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team-building exercise. I won't. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Does Iron Rose know you're working on that? Instead of swabbing things that need swabbing? Not yet, but I'm on my way to tell her. I think so. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Sounds exciting. Rose is right over there. You should get her opinion on it. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up! 
Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. A uh, flare? What? What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it, and now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. Ugh. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Ugh. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. Close enough. If 
if I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. Close enough. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. enough. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. I should put down this mop first. So, Putra. Chef! Putra, please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this, but LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this, too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? Yeah, I'm voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> yeah, 
Anyway. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. That is one revolting... Ah. <sighs> Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. He's pretty securely <gasps> pinned there by the rudder. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. LeChuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow. You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement. I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all, but it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it, but it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git. I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Well, I guess you've got me there. Ah. If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon. <laughs> I get you for this. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork.
Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. Aren't you curious about what the secret might turn out to be? Not really, no. Most secrets turn out to be either disappointing or disturbing. That's why people cover them up in the first place. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. As a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. It's empty now. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Disgraceful. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. The crow's nest is up there. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. I've already got the whole galley in my report. I've already got the whole galley in my report. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way.
could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. Want to see all the items I've listed? No, thanks. I'll do my job, you do yours. cannons loaded with something. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. You uh, okay in there, Marie? When I get out of here, I'm going to chew both your legs off and use your traitorous fingers to pick my feet. Okay then, just checking. crates to my report. I've already added the empty crates to my report. It's empty now. Ghost rats. Ugh. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Ye be swabbing! It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. Now get out of here so I can think. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Chef Putra, you're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Um, first swab. 
So, Chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Uh, Flair? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? I told you, Swabby. Bring me my grandmother's whale knife and my vote's all yours. <laughs> now go away. I have your knife. My grandmother's knife? Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pull that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. One bell. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote I. Nay. Nay. I. Nay. Nay. That's more eyes than before, but the vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. Meeting adjourned. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agent. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot polka to the tongue. Sounds good? Exquisitely painful, yes. Uh, about your vote? It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You want me to scratch your back? <sighs> Figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. Do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. How do you make Scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professionally possible. There are safety concerns. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Keep up the bad work. Always. So, Chef. What exactly is a scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. I don't suppose you know how to make scorched Alaska? Of course I can make scorched Alaska. I have to warn you, though, not to try to eat it. You've still got a fair amount of your face left. It'd be a shame to melt it off prematurely.
Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska made to order. Be careful with it, and like I said, don't try to eat it. Thanks. In front of him. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scotched Alaska. Sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. I am in your debt. I hate being in date, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. One bell, voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. Nay. Nay. Aye. Aye. Nay. That's more eyes than before, but the vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. Meeting adjourned. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Basket weaving? Well... No. Meditation? Nope. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Aha! Yodeling? Well, no. Sea shanties? Not really. Clog dancing? Not really. Could you just pick something? Oh, anything's fine. Biographies? I do enjoy reading. See what I can find. Would you describe this book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Would you describe this book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. We'll see what I can find. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. Call to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. Nay. Nay. Aye. 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 That's more eyes than before, but the vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. Meeting adjourned. Uh, Flair? What do you want? I'll leave you alone now. Yes, you will. So, Chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Uh, Flair? 
What? I want to check in on your vote about going to Monkey Island. Relax. I'll vote with you. I owe you one. Go swap a deck or something. Will do. allowed in my inner sanctum. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island, procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. I think so. One of your ancestors? None of your business, Swabby. And I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. is one revolt. <laughs> Man, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Man, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. doesn't open. I can't see anything. Hey, Gullet. Can I get you anything? You can get me unstuck from this rudder. Thank you very much, you insufferable slug. I was thinking more like a breath mint. Ugh. Fortunately, there's a much more straightforward way to get in there. Fortunately, there's a much more straightforward way to get in there.
at my orientation. It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks, I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're gonna vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes, even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. One bell, voting hour. Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island? Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. again already? Well, let's get to it. Come to order, you murdering, traitorous dogs. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 play you on a line. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. And it doesn't do much to cut. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it. the map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull. In conclusion, shape up or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. Ready for cannon firing. Ready for cannon firing.
She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Hey. All right. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. 